Give Boss of YouTube Elmas here, and today, guys, this is for the people who follow the uh, EXP Annual League. For the people who follow UCL, I actually have something to tell you guys after I talk about what I want to talk about the U, uh, EXP NU, which it kind of ties in with both, but yeah, just please hear me out. And um, I don't really expect this to be too long, but I do want to apologize to the uh, Black City Superior fans out there. Um, basically, for week four, we were supposed to face the Twin Leaf Tyrants, which the head coach is one of my good friends, Vice Productions, and his assistant coach is uh, one of my buddies, uh, Mr. Janvat. So, we were supposed to face each other uh, Friday night, I think. And, unfortunately, that was the only real time me and him both were free to do our match. However, though... All last week, which, yeah, because this is week four, this is week five. Uh, all week four, I had to work 11-hour shifts at my job, so I was very limited on time. And then I just had some personal life drama going on, so I didn't want to do my match Friday night. So I was like, if we can't do our match either Saturday or Sunday, then I'll, I'll just give you the win, which I feel really bad about. Uh, because I think we definitely had a chance to beat the Twin Leaf Tyrants. If anything, throughout our all our season matchups for EXP and U, the Twin Leaf Tyrants are really the only ones that are even a, ch a challenge to us at this point. I don't want to knock anybody else, but the Twin Leaf Tyrants were a team that was either 50-50, like we're either going to win or we're going to get destroyed. And uh, Anima and Bipes were basically our two toughest weeks, and we already beat Anima. So it might have been a coin flip on whether or not we had even won the match, uh, which I still don't really know how it would have gone. It depends on what plays it would have made, uh, if Head Smash would have missed or not. And it's just so many variables. So unfortunately, at this point forward, the Black City Superiors are 2-1. and one. And that one will be the only one loss that we have. Another thing is, for those of you who haven't seen my EXP NU interview, it's actually pretty funny. Uh, it's not to be, it's not meant to be serious, but it's really funny. I apologize for mentioning this in previous videos. It's just that I kept getting misinformed about when the video was supposed to go up. But I will definitely leave a link to that down in the description. Watch it. I really think it's pretty funny. Uh, Pedro and Tara said they enjoyed it, and uh, so far all the people that have watched it have liked it. So make sure to go check out my interview. I think it's pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, that's really that's really it for the XPNU update part. I just I'm really really sorry. Uh, I really wish I had done the match, but just personal life stuff. Just I'd rather not go into detail about it. But everything's fine now. Everything's fine now. But yeah, I'm sorry that I let you guys down, and uh, we have one loss now, which is a little frustrating. It does kind of suck, but. We will meet the Twin Leaf Tyrants in the playoffs. I definitely think Josh will make it to the playoffs. And I know we will make it to the playoffs for sure. But moving on to UCL and kind of EXP NU. We are almost up to 5,000 subscribers. Like, hold on. Let, let me go check right now real quick. I think, I think the last I checked, we were like maybe 60, 80 away. I want to say... Right now, yeah, yeah, okay, so yeah, we we're about 60, 80 away. Right now, we have 4,948 subscribers. That is crazy because since the UCL launched, I think there's been like 1K new subscribers just for the UCL and for you guys. I just, I want to thank you so much for, uh, for sticking with the channel. Um, I do upload different content outside of League stuff, but lately I've just been really busy with personal life. Uh, of course, that comes first, as I just mentioned, and then it's the Pokemon stuff. And just for those of you supporting the Durham Dredagons, I'm really debating on whether or not I should make like shirts for Durham Dredagons. Because I think for EXP NU, in order for me to make a Black City Superior shirt, it would have to go through Pedro's uh, Red Bubble. I can't make it myself because I know that's what he did with some of the other shirts. But when it comes to the Durham Dredagons, I can make like a Teespring or something for it if you guys would like that. I, I've never really thought, uh, I don't mean this in a bad way, but I didn't. I never really thought I had a, a big enough fan base to where people would actually like buy shirts if I made them. So I don't know, let me know if you guys would maybe like that. Like maybe if it's only like 10 of you, I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, but yeah, just let me know in the comment section below if you guys would pretend, probably, well possibly like uh, Black, 
Durham, you would like Durham Dredagon shirts and potential Black City Superior shirts uh, if you want to support us. And that, that's really all. Thank you to all the amazing new subscribers from the UCL and from EXPNU. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying my content as of lately. Hopefully in the near future I can get back to uploading on a bit of a regular baseless basis. basis. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I used to play competitive Pokemon a lot. I did like nothing but Showdown for a while. Uh, I did a lot of Wi-Fi battles back in the day and just recently my son, of course, and then my job relationship and just... Yeah, anyways, uh, I know I need to shave. I told myself I'm going to shave before recording this, but I'm really running on crunch time. But yeah, uh, hopefully uh, the EXPNU fans for the Black Series Superiors are understandable. And uh, you aren't mad at me that I just gave up a match and we are we lost our first... We have our first official loss because uh, just just uh, personal life stuff going on. Blunder couldn't do it either because Blunder's on vacation right now, actually. Uh, he's uh, going to be gone until August 4th. So I think we will be alone for team building for week five, but week five should actually be, <laughs> I don't want to knock Hermes, but it should be an easy matchup for us to win. Uh, UCL, a week two, another easy matchup to be honest, but <laughs> nah, I'm just talking shit about Christian. I, uh, nah. uh, anyways, yeah guys, I'm just rambling at this point. Please leave a like, just let everybody know what's kind of going on. And with that being said, I think I am gone. I don't know if I have an upload tomorrow, maybe Wednesday. Depending, because I don't know my hours yet for this week, so depending on what hours I get will determine if I can upload uh, other stuff besides leak stuff for this week. And yeah, anyways, thank you all for watching. With that being said, Durham Dredagons and the Black Sea Superiors for a chance for both leagues, because we'll definitely make it there with that. I don't know why I, I, don't, I, I don't... I'm out of here. Bye. <laughs>